When you are going through the process of planning and installing a custom car audio system, there are oftentimes challenges that arise. Now, how well we are able to overcome those challenges often depends on the level of support that manufacturers have for their products. And when I say support, I don't just mean tech support. In this video, I have a couple of ideas for manufacturers that I think would help them better support us installers and consumers during our build process. I'm Mark, welcome to Car Audio Fabrication, let's discuss. Now right up front, a disclaimer, this video is not meant to call anybody out or talk poorly about any car audio company. These are just some simple ideas that in my opinion will make life a lot easier for us car audio enthusiasts. And remember, we are a community, so I want to hear your input too. So my first suggestion, whenever you buy a piece of car audio gear, it oftentimes comes with a manual. And my first suggestion to manufacturers is please upload the PDF manual to your website so that anyone can access it even before they purchase the product. We live in the age of information and a lot of times those simple specs that are listed on a website might not be enough information for us to make up our mind on whether or not a product is a good choice for a build. But oftentimes in the manual we can find additional little details that will tell us if a product is the right product for a build. There's been many different times that I'll get a product and I'll start reading through the manual and I'll notice some small little detail that I had no idea existed because it wasn't listed on the website. So instead, as a manufacturer, if you're going to have those manuals made, why not just offer that small little download link on the website? On that manual note, I do want to take a quick second to thank our channel sponsor, Crutchfield. Even though they aren't necessarily a manufacturer because they carry multiple different manufacturers gear that they sell, in my opinion, their website is set up really, really well when it comes to being able to easily access information. There's been times I haven't been able to find the manual on the manufacturer's website, but I'm able to get it on Crutchfield's. Along with that, Crutchfield also has a great US-based customer support team with advisors available seven days a week. If you guys want to learn more and take advantage of a special offer for car audio fabrication fans, check out the link on screen or down in the video description. Now my next request for manufacturers, please provide better information when it comes to the dimensions of speakers and subwoofers. I cannot tell you how many times I'm working on creating a custom subwoofer enclosure design and the only spec that a manufacturer will offer if they offer any specs at all, is literally just the cutout size that the hole needs to be for the subwoofer to insert into the box. When I'm planning for a subwoofer in a custom design, there are other dimensions that I have to know. I need to know the outer diameter of the subwoofer so that I'm sure that I have enough clearance and so that I can cut flush mount holes. I also need to know the mounting depth of the subwoofer to make sure that I don't make the enclosure design too shallow or have any bracing in the way of the magnet behind it. It also doesn't hurt to know the actual magnet diameter. That way, if we are building an enclosure that has the subwoofer mounted on a slope, we know how close the magnet is actually going to be either to the bottom or the back wall. It also doesn't hurt for us to know the diameter of the bolt circle. In other words, the diameter from the center point here to here of all the mounting screws. These are all dimensions that at a minimum a manufacturer should be providing to us as consumers and installers to make sure that we can properly plan for using the subwoofer. Now while we're still on the topic of subwoofers, there is a value that all too often I see manufacturers leaving out of their specs and that is the displacement of the subwoofer. The subwoofer basket and motor structure and everything that makes up the subwoofer takes up space inside of our enclosure. So in order to properly design and calculate our enclosure, we need to know what that displacement value is. And all too often, I see a ton of manufacturers that do not offer this even on the website or in the instruction manual. Please manufacturers, make sure you provide us with that displacement value for the sub. Now another thing I'd really like to see manufacturers do a better job at providing is the mounting pattern when it comes to any type of gear. So not only the mounting pattern for things like the bolt circle on subwoofers and speakers, but even the distance between the different mounting holes when it comes to mounting something like an amplifier, a crossover, a DSP, etc. We live in the digital age and high-end car audio installers are almost becoming more of engineers. There's a lot of times when we're planning out an install and doing all the planning in 3D space. In fact, one of the past builds that I did here on the channel was building an amplifier rack for a smart car. When I was building that project, I completely modeled every aspect of that amplifier rack 
including where the amplifiers were going to mount, and it would have really been nice to not have to take a bunch of measurements in order to determine the different bolt locations for those amplifiers. It would have been nice if I could have just easily pulled that schematic from a manual. To take things even further to the next level, I think it would be super cool if manufacturers could provide 3D models of the gear so that we can better plan when we're doing a build. If I'm modeling a full build in 3D, I have to spend a bunch of time taking a bunch of different measurements in order to create a model model for something like a subwoofer, amplifier, DSP, or whatever other gear, what would be awesome is if I could just download those files from a library from the manufacturer. Now from an engineering standpoint here, I know what manufacturers are thinking right now. We don't want to give away all of our secrets on how everything is designed, but to me there's no reason that you can't de-feature the model. I'm not expecting an amplifier to have you know all the details for the heat sink and everything that's going on inside. All we need is that outside envelope. With a lot of high-end shops and enthusiasts actually planning out their builds in 3D, I just think it'd be super cool to see that kind of data shared. And it all doesn't have to be 3D either. Even if manufacturers were able to provide 2D data with things like a DXF file or an SVG file, that would be advantageous for things like bolt circles and mounting patterns. Now the next bit of information that I would love to see manufacturers offering more often is frequency response data for subwoofers and speakers. There are a couple of manufacturers out there that are really good about this. These frequency response curves give us a better idea what performance to expect from a speaker. Better yet, if the manufacturer also provides things like off-axis performance, we can plan out things like crossover points or even where we're going to mount the speaker in an install. I would love to see all manufacturers offering this information. And the other cool thing that I always like to see that some manufacturers do is when they take their suggested subwoofer box, whether it's a sealed box or a ported box, or both of them and put them up both on the same graph, when they give you an idea of the simulated response that you can expect, based on their suggestion for those enclosures. I love that as well. Again, it's useful information that we can use up front before we actually start doing a build to get better results. Now, most of my suggestions here are information-based and that's because I am such a planner. My engineering blood wants me to fully plan and design a system up front because I find that proper planning really helps get more efficient and productive results. But I wanna hear from you guys too. What do you think manufacturers could do to better support us consumers and installers during the build and install process? Next time you are picking out gear for your car audio install, definitely check out our show sponsor, Crutchfield. You can learn more about them and take advantage of a special offer for car audio fabrication fans at the link down in the video description. A big thanks to them along with Mike, Jerry, Mo, William, and the rest of the Patreon membership team. A big thanks to all those guys for making these videos possible. And of course, thank you for tuning in and watching.